much for all of the love and support that I received on my first ever YouTube video, which was um, a tour of Sandy's enclosure. I wanted my first video to be more relaxed, just really a video <laughs> of the enclosure because it's one of the things that I'm asked the most about. Can you do an in-depth enclosure tour? Where did you get this? Where did you get that? What dimensions are your enclosure? So I knew from the get-go that the first video I would upload on this channel would be of the enclosure itself. Um, and also because I didn't really want to show my face um, in the first video, I wanted to just slowly ease my way into it. So here I am. I thought I would do a little introduction, um, first of all, and then I'm going to introduce my pets, because this is what the premise of the video is. Meet my pets. So, first of all, for anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Caitlin, I'm 23 years old, and I love animals. Any animal in the world. I'm obsessed with. Um, animals run my life. My career, I built a career on animals. I had my own pet sitting business for three years. Then I started working in a doggy daycare and I was a professional dog handler there and I did some training as well. Unfortunately, I do suffer from a chronic illness and my health did take over, so I am no longer able to work with animals. Um, so I thought, why not just dive headfirst into the social media world? Um, I decided to adopt a hamster about three months ago, and I made an Instagram account for her, and it's kind of just skyrocketed from there. Um, the love I received from the hamster car community has been insane. So I thought I would make a YouTube channel directly connected to that Instagram page, Bell's Little Critters, and see where it takes me. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of small animals at the moment. I do only have one hamster. So I thought in order to have more content for you guys, I would include my dogs on this channel as well. So I've got two dogs. Um, I've got a Labrador and a Yorkshire Terrier. So I thought I would sit down and make a video for anyone coming directly from my Hamstergram account who don't know that I have dogs. I thought I would make a video to introduce them. So yeah, stay tuned. I will go get the first pet. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi, handsome. Oh, thank you. Thank you, buddy. So, this is Elvis. <laughs> Do you not want to be in the video? No? Come on. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. This is Elvis. He is my pride and joy, my first baby. Yes, you are. He is a one-year-old purebred Labrador Retriever. Um, actually, he is. Are you going to lie Good boy. <sighs> I'm gonna get used to saying that he's two because he turns two at the end of this month. And I'm not ready to admit it because it means he's finally an adult dog and that breaks my heart because he's still a baby to me. Um, but yeah, so this is Elvis. He, like I said, is my first baby. So I got him right after I moved into this house with my partner. This is my first home of my own, living with a partner. Um, I live with my mum um, right up until now. 
and I literally said, I will not live in a house without a dog. So that's how I got him. Um, we literally got him home the week after we moved in here. So it was pretty hectic. Um, but I loved it. I loved that I was experiencing a new home and a new puppy at the same time. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Um, so I have always rescued, um, as everyone knows, Sandy is a rescue. Um, I grew up rescuing animals. My last dog was a rescue. My mom opened up Gumtree, which is a selling website, I guess, for animals where I'm from. And she opened it up and was looking at loads of puppies and goes, what kind of dog do you want? And I literally looked at her and said, I want to go to the pound. And I think I was like 10. <laughs> so literally from a young age, I always wanted to rescue animals and I always have and always will. But I did want to experience picking out a puppy for the first time, especially with my partner. Um, so that's what we did. We did research into breeders um, and breeds that would suit our lifestyle. And we landed on a Labrador Retriever. And yeah, we picked him. And I wouldn't have it any other way. As you can tell, he's the best boy. He's just so chill. Aren't you? Yes, you are. He's just the best. My intentions for him is I actually want to train him into becoming an assistance dog for me in the future because I do suffer from a chronic illness. Um, but yeah, so he's just the best. He is ball obsessed. His favorite toys are teddies. He just carries his teddies in his mouth all the time. And it's just the cutest thing in the world. We literally have toys from when he was a puppy that he still has because he doesn't destroy anything. He's not your typical lab where they get a toy and they just make it their mission to get the stuff out of it. He, I think he gets like emotionally attached to things and he just cuddles them and it's just the cutest. He's just so precious. I can literally talk about him all day but I don't want this video to be hours long. Um, so yeah, that's my boy. He's the best. He's the love of my life. I love him to pieces. Um, he has really, he can hear, um, I currently live beside a building site, so he can hear everyone outside. What's happening, buddy? Um, but yeah, so this is my boy. Um, he's the best boy. He's really adapted to my lifestyle. Um, he doesn't get out as much as I would like to. Um, so he does spend a lot of time cuddling me. Um, he is very chill. But when he does get out and I do have enough strength in order to walk him or, or run with him or do whatever he likes to do, he is insane. He will go from like zero to 100. Like, it's mad. He suffers from extreme cases of the zoomies. Um, <laughs> he's just the best boy. His favourite things to do is go to the dog park because he just loves everyone and everything. He loves playing with other dogs. He loves going to the beach. He loves swimming. He's just your standard Labrador and he's just all in all the goodest boy. And I'm going to insert some clips now of just Elvis being Elvis. And I hope you all enjoy. But yeah, that is my first pet, this handsome boy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna insert those clips now.
love them as much as I do. There's going to be a lot of content um, with him in it in the future with just dog walks, day in the life of owning a lab, um, trips to the dog park, things like that. So I just wanted to make a video to introduce him and of course my other pets as well um, before I start actually making content around them because I just thought it would be weird just to <laughs> randomly make a video one day with him in it and nobody knows who he is. So I just wanted to make a video to properly introduce him to you guys um, because I know a lot of you guys are coming from my Hamstergram account and you all know Sandy very well but nobody really knows my dogs so that's what the premise of this video is. So I'm just gonna go get Minnie, who is my other dog, and introduce her to you guys now as well. So let's go get Minnie. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> so this is Minnie, yes. Um, she is a Yorkshire Terrier and she will be nine years old this May. So you're a little granny, aren't you? But you don't let that stop you. If anything, I think she has more energy than Elvis. <laughs> and anytime, thank you, anytime we tell people her age, they are so shocked. Like I brought her to the vets not that long ago. Sorry, I need to scratch my nose. All the dog hair in this room now from Elvis is insane. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I brought her to the vets um, like last month just for a health check and the vet like couldn't believe when I said her age. I was like, so for like a nine year old, like is she looking good? And they're like, she's nine. <laughs> I was like, yeah, so that was kind of the answer. Um, she doesn't look her age. She's thriving. We always have a joke that she's immortal and she will outlive us all. <laughs> so I've had many from she was a puppy. She was a family dog. So I grew basically grew up with Minnie. Um, <laughs> she is the best. She's very loud and barky. Um, just a standard terrier, really. Um, unfortunately, my mum couldn't take care of her anymore. She just didn't have the time. Um, with Minnie's old age, she has developed a lot of anxiety surrounding being left at home for long periods. And with my mum's job, it just wasn't working out. It wasn't fair. Um, I was working from home at the time, so. I just said, like, I'll take her, um, it's Minnie, <laughs> you know, she's absolutely no bother, she's a dream, um, so I've now had her full time in my house, um, gosh, about three months, three or four months, I think, um, honestly, there's just no concept of time, because I've had Minnie in my life forever, so, <laughs> but, yeah, so that's how I ended up with having Minnie in my home. What way are you sitting? You weirdo. <laughs> um, if you can hear the way she's breathing at the minute, it's because she has a collapsed trachea. I think that's how you pronounce the word. Um, which just means 
that she just has some trouble breathing. She can't wear any like collars or anything like that and um, can't have anything restricting her throat. Um, we went to the dog park yesterday. Oh my gosh, you're so awkward. <laughs> yeah, so we went to the dog park yesterday and she had a ball running after all the dogs, going into the pools. And just because she did have so much fun and was exercising a bit more than usual, um, she is a little bit out of breath today, um, but it doesn't stop her. So in case you're wondering why she's breathing like this, it is just due to that. Um, she's a little bit exhausted. She's coming down from her fun day that she had yesterday. Um, but yeah, so that's Minnie. Um, she's just a standard Yorkshire Terrier. Thank you. She is what I would call a Velcro dog and she just clings to you. She is my shadow. She wants to be where you are all day, every day. Oh, are you tired? Um, if you're sitting on the sofa, she is on top of you. Um, <laughs> she sits in the most awkward positions just to be near you. Um, half of the time I don't even think she's comfortable, um, but she's just happy being where you are. She's just a standard lap dog. Um, classic barky terrier. Anyone who walks past, any dog who walks past, she has beef with them. She thinks she owns the whole street. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't have her any other way. Um, she's just the best. She's absolutely ball obsessed. Um, she's a very picky eater. Um, she's one of the dogs that would, you would literally have her bowl out all day and she wouldn't even finish it because she just likes to graze. Um, why do you want to sit like that? <laughs> but yeah, sorry, I just can't cope with how weird she's being right now. What are you doing? Um, but yeah, so that's Minnie. Um, there again, there will be a lot more content with her in it. Any time I make a dog related video, I'll probably have both of them featured. I just wanted to introduce her to you guys. Um, especially since I haven't had her that long, a lot of people don't actually realise I have her. They just think I'm posting about my family dog. But she's mine now. Um, are you okay? Just a little cough. But yeah, so that's Minnie. I will insert some clips here of her just being her usual self. Um, but yeah. Oh, you don't want to be picked up? That's okay. You can just sit on my knee. There's a good girl. <laughs> Isn't she just so precious? So yeah, I'll insert the clips now. Um, that's me. <laughs>
could not imagine living in a house without dogs. I grew up with dogs. I just, they're the best. <laughs> so I just wanted to make a video and introduce them to you guys because who doesn't love dogs, right? Like obviously my account, my account, <laughs> my channel is probably going to be small pet related content for the most of it but I also really want to be able to include videos of my dogs on this channel as well because 90% of the time I'm spending time with them because obviously Sandy is nocturnal um, and I don't see her a lot so I am sitting beside her enclosure right now but unfortunately she's not going to be physically featured in this video um, I'm not going to be able to hold her and interact with her for you guys because like I said she's nocturnal so unfortunately I don't think I'll ever like really be in the position to make a video like live in time that didn't make any sense in real time was what I was meant to say I don't think I'll ever make a video at the minute in real time with Sandy in regards to like holding her and interacting with her on camera mainly because she's nocturnal and she usually doesn't wake up the earliest she wakes up is about 9 p.m but most of the time it's about 11 to 12 p.m um 11 p.m and then 12 a.m sorry <laughs> she's not waking up in the afternoon i'll tell you that so unfortunately i am um, i just want to have the lighting i'm just trying to work out how i can make a high quality video with her in it so for now whilst i'm just starting out my channel i will probably just be recording videos of just her and not of her and me if that makes sense i feel like i've just rambled on for no point and i'm making no sense at all but basically in this video sandy will not be physically featured um but what i will do is i'm going to include some clips of her just enjoying her enclosure and yeah <laughs> so i'm going to talk a little bit more about sandy now and um, because i feel like i'm just throwing word vomit at you guys and this video is going to be way too long. A little bit about Sandy. Sandy is a one year old female Syrian hamster. I rescued her from my local shelter um, in January, the 29th of January to be specific. So I rescued her when she was 10 months old, which is very old in the respects of rescuing a hamster, like a, a, actually getting a hamster very close to them becoming one year is kind of insane because hamsters, their lifespan are very, very short. Hamsters usually live between one and a half to two years. So I got Sandy in my life halfway through hers, which makes me so sad to think about it. but the reason I adopted her compared to any other hamster really is well every hamster deserves a home and the conditions Sandy lived in for the majority of her life were not okay and it really tugged on my heartstrings and I just thought I'm, I need to adopt her and show her the life that she deserves and no matter how little time we have together it's going to mean so much and the bond we already share between each other is insane i have no words for it she is honestly like, i think she's my heart hamster i just love her to bits I couldn't imagine myself with another hamster, like I can't. So she is a Syrian hamster. The rescue I adopted her from primarily 
only has dwarfs and they have robos they're like the, it seems to be the most popular breed of hamster that is being surrendered to the shelters at the minute at least where i where i live i contacted this rescue and i basically said i'm in the preparation stages of getting the hamster um i don't care how long it takes but i know i have my heart sat on getting a syrian so the reason for that is due to me primarily owning syrians in the past um i have had two Syrians previously and I have had a dwarf hamster as well and I personally feel like I got a lot more out of the Syrians that I owned and that is not saying I'll never own a dwarf again Um, every hamster is different I could get a Syrian today and it could be nowhere like it could be nothing like Sandy it could be a ghost hamster for all I know literally every hamster is different and has a different personality but I just, I just love Syrians. They're definitely my favourite breed. Um, and yeah, so that's what I said to them. I said, look, if you get a Syrian hamster in, let me know. Because I'm in the preparation stages. I'm not actively looking for a hamster right now. Because I wanted to save up for a few months, slowly get bits and pieces so it wasn't a huge expense all at once um so I contacted them and then about a month after I contacted them they messaged me saying they had a Syrian hamster surrender and it was Sandy and this was a week before Christmas and I knew I couldn't get her um because a week before Christmas I didn't want to have to settle in a hamster during the, like one of the busiest times of the year just wasn't it it just didn't add up in my mind so I messaged them saying that I want I would take her in an absolute in a heartbeat at this time by the way I didn't know the gender the color nothing I didn't have a photo of her I just knew it was a Syrian hamster in need of a home and I wanted to adopt them so I just said look it is a week before christmas i don't think i'll be in a position to adopt a hamster right this second but in the new year if she if they are still available because i didn't know it was a girl if they're still available absolutely i will take them on so they said that's perfectly fine because they don't adopt out animals so with christmas period anyway they were just giving me first review refusal i barely got that word out <laughs> They were giving me first refusal of the Syrian hamster they were getting in. So I said, yeah, absolutely. Put me down for adopting them. I'll start getting the enclosure ready. And yeah, that was how I came to adopt Sandy. Um, there was a lot of setbacks with the adoption process in regards to getting her transported because I live in the north of Ireland and the rescue is down south so it was quite difficult in regards to like getting in travel because i don't drive due to my chronic illness um so unfortunately i did have to wait um about a month to adopt her after i knew knew about her but thankfully the rescue were amazing and sent me daily updates of her and that's how i started my instagram just with daily updates of Sandy in foster in her temporary setup and me getting all of the stuff to prepare for her um so yeah that is a really long story of how I ended up with Sandy <laughs> so I'm going to include some clips here of just Sandy enjoying her enclosure so you can just see her and see her personality, I guess.
Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have survived the whole length of this video, thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. Um, I hope you enjoyed meeting all of my adorable pets. Um, I do only have three pets at the minute, obviously, because I only featured the three of them in this video. But I do plan on adding a lot more to the family very soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day. And I will be back for another video very soon. Enjoy this adorable clip of Minnie and Elvis snuggling up on the sofa. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>